Nemo jailbreak. Six inmates returned. 35 refused to escape. Prison service boss claims. The attackers who stormed the facility at about 2.15 hours on Monday, 5th April 2021, gained entrance into the yard by using explosive to blast the administrative blocks. The Nigerian Correctional Service has said six inmates voluntarily returned while 35 others refused to escape from custody after the correctional facility was attacked on Monday in Oweri, Imo State. The Acting Controller General of the Nigerian Correctional Service, John Mbrabo, disclosed this in a statement signed by the spokesman for corrections. Francis Enobo. According to the statement, Mbrabo has ordered a comprehensive investigation into the incident and appealed to the good citizens of Imo State and Nigerians to volunteer useful intelligence to recapture the fleeing inmates. The statement reads, The Ogre Custodial Center in Imo State has been attacked by unknown gunmen and forcefully released a total of 1,844 inmates in custody. The attackers who stormed the facility at about 2.15 hours on Monday, on 5th April 2021, gained entrance into the yard by using explosives to blast the administrative block. They were said to have arrived at the center in their large number in several Hilos pickup vans and Sienna buses armed with sophisticated weapons and immediately engaged the security personnel on duty in fierce gun battle. They eventually detonated the explosive to gain entrance. The Acting Controller General of Corrections, John Mbrabo, has ordered a comprehensive investigation into the incident and a collaboration with other security organizations, commenced a search and recovery operations to recapture the fleeing inmates. While appealing to the good citizens of Imo State and indeed Nigerians to volunteer useful intelligence that will facilitate the recovery efforts, the AG Controller General wishes to ensure that the security of custodial center in the country remains sacrosanct. He equally directed all officers attached to custodial facility to remain vigilant at this trying moment. In our history, as at the last count, six inmates have so far voluntarily returned to the facility, while 35 inmates refused to escape from custody during the attack. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Prison break. Nigeria. Well, um, you see, it's one of the things that we definitely experience in Nigeria. You understand? It's one of the things that we experience in Nigeria. But then, the don't you think that prison? Um, breaking in, um, breaking of prisons and um, and um, setting police station ablaze is um, is now becoming too much in Nigeria. It's not becoming too much in Nigeria, so um, I think the president should uh, should should uh, summon the the departments responsible for this. Uh, for this uh, security department, you should summon them. You should have some some words of intelligence with them, so that um, they will find a lasting solution to this um, continuous breaking of breaking in and um, setting in setting of um, police station ablaze, because it's becoming too alarming. It's coming too alarming. Okay, look at the one that happened in Imo State that was three days ago. The same prison break. They break into the prison 
and free the inmates. And I told us that the people that are behind this prison break are still the people that we know, are still the people that we see in that beautiful uh, uh, building in Asso Rock, are the people that we call our politicians, our House of Reps, our governors. In fact, they are the ones. You understand? They are the ones using this, uh, this, this, this youth who we do regard as gunmen. They use them to perpetrate evil, to carry out evil assignments. They use them to break into the prison and free the, uh, the, 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 the already trapped uh, uh, members so that they will not expose them. Yes, of course. Don't you know? That is one of the logic. Once they discover that one of them has been apprehended and it is very, very possible that that very one will expose them. The next thing to do is, is to apply these techniques. You see that? It's to apply these techniques. And these techniques that they have been applying, hmm, my dear, it has been causing a very serious issue in Nigeria. So it, it's not becoming too much. It's not becoming too much. So let um, let that be an uh, immediate solution to this um, to this issue because it's not encouraging in any way. It's not encouraging. We have experienced too much of it this year. Just this year, we have recorded deaths in numbers. We have recorded rapes in numbers. We have recorded um, kidnappings in numbers, like. Um, uh, uh, we, have, we, have, we have experienced kidnapping of school, school children, workers, travelers, and what have you, just this same year, just this same year. And um, I remember the president, president promised us, telling us that we should not worry, that this year is going to measure up, is going to meet up with uh, those things he was not able to meet up. He gave us his words. Well, Nigerians, they didn't, Nigerians didn't give him that benefit of that because they have given him enough of it enough of it and he's having less than two years to to be to be true to be true so um to me it's too late it's too late to give you that benefit of doubt still very very late you make promise you don't keep it in fact generally our security departments are very very weak very very weak the only respected security department is now also weak that is the nigerian army she see that and that is why i do say it that our our military also need restructuring they need they, they need restructuring let's know where their weakness is coming from let's know who is making them to be weak who is making them not to be acting the way they used to because they, they no longer act. They no longer act. Let me hear from you anyway and know what you actually meant by that. If you are new on this channel, give me a click to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.